Good evening. Guys, my name is Mike again. I live in Lexington, Mississippi, and thank you for coming back on the road with the SBRA. Son, we have had a great weekend of rodeo last weekend. If you joined me earlier, we talked about all the action in Coling, Alabama with Obi Rodeo Company. Well, the second opportunity with the Southeastern Professional Rodeo Association teamed us up with Mr. Greg and Ms. Emery Norrit, Frontier Classic Rodeo Company, and we took a trip down to Ponce de Leon, Florida for the first annual Vortex Springs Rodeo. Let me talk about this committee for just about this long, and that doesn't do them justice. This committee decided they wanted to put on a rodeo for the very first year. They chose the Southeastern Professional Rodeo Association and Mr. Greg Norrin and Frontier Classic Rodeo Company, and they go above and beyond with everything they did. They actually got brand new hardware, good looking trophy buckles for all of the champions in each event there at their rodeo, and they were probably the most unique trophy buckles I've ever seen. They were glossy, they were shiny. Uh, the largest poured up uh, portion of them was bright red, like this finals jacket right here. Uh, but they had some silver and some gold intertwined with them, and they were just absolutely gorgeous. So we say thank you to that rodeo committee down there in Ponce de Leon, Florida, for going above and beyond and not just treating the cowboys and cowgirls like contestants, but treating them like royalty, or even better yet, like family. Then I'll tell you that uh, Frontier Classic Rodeo Company, boy, they recruited the phenomenal rodeo announcer, Mr. Matt McGee, behind the mic all weekend. He was teaming up with Funny Man, your rodeo entertainer from Poplarville, Mississippi, Mr. T.J. Williams. Now, they both also teamed up with the premier specialty act going up and down the road today, anywhere in rodeo. He hails from the Bayou State of Louisiana. He calls himself the misfit cowboy, Mr. Brian Patton. You know, I actually, speaking of T.J. Williams, your rodeo entertainer for the year, I saw a video he did uh, telling the fans of where to come and what they could expect in Ponce de Leon, Florida. And he mentioned the Misfit Cowboy, and he said, you know, from the first part of his act where the sparks fly off his whip, that's worth the price of admission right there, and TJ was right. This Cowboy, if you get a chance to see Mr. Brian Patton and the Misfit Cowboy, you do not want to miss it. That took us straight into the nuts and bolts of the rodeo. Uh, the bareback ride. Mr. Kenneth Glick, the Cowboy sitting number one in the world standings, also has taken a small lead in the SPRA all-around race right now. He comes in there. You heard me mention him winning uh, the bareback riding up in Coling, Alabama. Well, he comes down to Ponce de Leon, Florida. Spurs one down for 73 points for the second-place win. The number two Cowboy in the world standings from Ohatchee, Alabama, Cody Warnock, he comes in there, lays his head back, points his hat to the sky, just stabbing and grabbing, shouts flopping and popping. Uh, the dust settled, the smoke cleared. Our judges, man, James Bearden and Matt Dryden, they added the scores up there, and he was 74 points to take home the win in the bareback riding. Then to the classic event of rodeo, our saddle wrong. You heard me talk about Joe Farron last weekend up in Coling, Alabama. He took home a second place win up there. Uh, he's sitting number one in the world standings. He hails from Cottondale, Florida. So Ponce de Leon is just sort of a, a little hop, skip, and a jump right up the road from his house. It's pretty much a hometown rodeo for the Cowboy. He went up there in front of his hometown crowd. He showed up, he showed out. The Bronx Stomper laid down 73 points to set you up the win there in the saddle bronc ride. On to the tie down calf roping. Andrew Turpin, he was the number 15 cowboy going into this rodeo, and so he was really trying hard because he's sitting right on that bubble and he wants to maintain or even build on that 15th spot so he can set you up his place in the 2020 SPFR's Elite 15. 
He comes in 11.8, earns him a third place check, and so right now he is on the right track to make his way to Philadelphia, Mississippi. Then Reno Gonzalez, this cowboy comes in 11.2 seconds for the second place win. The Defuniac Springs, Florida Cowboy, Garrett McDonald shows up down there. He says, boys, he said, hold on to your hats because it's about to get ranchy. He showed them a little something with 9.2 seconds to take home the first place money. They're in the tie-down calf roping. The Pretty Cowgirls and the Breakaway Roping. Now, the second place cowgirl, this young little cowgirl is still a high school student. I've had the pleasure of introducing her to rodeo fans uh, from Florida, through the great state of Alabama, all the way out to Guthrie, Oklahoma. I have seen her come up through the junior ranks. She's roping with the big girls. She's riding a brand new breakaway horse she just got a few weeks ago. Ty Fleming comes in there 4.3 seconds with the big girls for the second place check. And then the cowgirl, Ms. Rhonda Ellison from Calera, Alabama, getting the first place win. Boy, she is what I call a vet squared. She's a veterinarian and she's a veteran. She is a member of our United States Air Force defending our freedoms day in and day out. And we say thank you to her for everything she does for our country. 4.1 seconds earns her that win there at your first annual Vortex Springs Rodeo. Then the big men come in there in the big man's event the elder statesman, Mr. Charlie Langley, he shows up, jumps off on the back of a steer, slams him down in 5.5 seconds to captivate the win in the steer wrestling. <coughs> that takes us to our dynamic duos of rodeo, our team ropers. The second place check goes to Charlie Day and Stephen Bland with 6.6 .6 seconds stretching out the steer. Now, this next duo, they're number one in the world standings, but better yet, guys, they've been roping together so long, they know each other about good as they know their selves. They hail from, from down in L.A., and when I say L.A., I mean lower Alabama. They've been roping with each other since, well, since they came out of the womb, pretty much. And it pays off when you know your partner that well, Caston Peavy and Zach Dobbins, 5.3 seconds to get the win there in the team roping. On to the Pretty Cowgirls and the Lightning Fast American Quarter Horses. <coughs> we got four places I'm going to talk about right here. In fourth place, splitting fourth place with a 12.949. The first cowgirl I'm going to talk about hails from Utah, Alabama. She rides a pretty buckskin horse she calls Amazing. And she's had an amazing year because she's sitting number one in the world standings. Miss Angela Hudson, also a former world champion, taking home that fourth place check or splitting that fourth place check with the West Point, Mississippi phenomenon. I'm talking about the Hot Mess Express, Miss Shay Atkins, 12.949, getting that fourth place check as well. Brittany Day. Boy, she's had a great year this year. She's been on fire. She goes down there to Ponce de Leon, 12.847 to take home a check. And then the number two cowgirl in the world standing. She is your 2019 average champion at the SPFR. Uh, Lauren Pringle comes in there to get her a second place check down there at uh, Ponce de Leon, Florida. Now, if you remember... Uh, me talking about her up in Coling, Alabama the night before. She pulled a fourth place check up there, so she's steadily climbing up that ladder. She's trying to inch towards that first place standings, but you'll get to meet her in the Elite 15 at your 2020 SPFR. The cowgirl taking home all the money. Boy, what a great weekend this young cowgirl had. She hails from Laverne, Alabama. Zoe Carpenter made her first SPFR when she was only nine years old. Here's another young cowgirl, all-around cowgirl. I've also gotten to introduce to people from Alabama all the way out to Guthrie. I've seen her come up through the ranks as well. She won Coling, Alabama. You heard me talk about that. She comes down there to Ponce de Leon, lays down a 12.684 to take home the big red, pretty shiny hardware and get the win. Congratulations to you, Zoe. 
Last and certainly not least, it's the one that all of our fans sit around and wait on with anticipation. Our big bad bucking bovines, our bull riding. Boy, the bull riding, the bulls worked overtime this weekend. They didn't have a lot of qualified rides, but the one that they had showed up and showed out. Cole Ivy was 75 points. Boy, this cowboy is not only a bull rider winning the bull riding, but he's also one of the bull fighters. Cole Ivy and Laramie Dryden fighting the bulls, protecting the cowboys, and one of the bullfighters actually getting on a bull, Cole Ivy, 75 points to captivate the win there in the bull riding. That's how all the action shook out at your first annual Vortex Springs Championship SPRA Rodeo there with the Frontier Classic Rodeo Company. Now, this week, I want to mark your calendars. This week, listen to me and listen to me close. Over in the great state of Georgia, the Double Creek Rodeo Company is bringing you the Easter Seals Middle Georgia Pro Rodeo. That's happening November the 6th and again November the 7th. Two great rodeos, two great payouts. Dublin, Georgia is where the action is going to take place. And then, man, this is going to be an event of all events. Mr. Greg and Ms. Emery Norrid with the Frontier Classic Rodeo Company they're teaming up with the one and only Mr. Booger Brown at your Booger Brown's third annual Roundup Cattle Drive Rodeo there in Sampson, Alabama. Now, I had Booger on the show a few weeks ago telling me about the cattle drive and, and telling us about that and where we can get a, be a part of that. I believe it starts off on Wednesday of this week. They drive cattle every day. And then on Saturday, November the 7th, they drive the cattle straight down through the streets of Sampson, Alabama, to the rodeo grounds, where they will team up with Frontier Classic Rodeo for SPRA Rodeo Action. You definitely don't want to miss that. Guys, I have had a ball. The rodeo season is dwindling down to the end. We're setting our sights for the 2020 SPFR in Philadelphia, Mississippi, that's where the Elite 15, the top 15 cowboys and cowgirls in each event, make their way to Philadelphia, Mississippi to play, try to claim their place in our prestigious arena of champions as we crown new world champions. That's where that's going to happen. You know, and we get to do all that, and we get to live a lifestyle that's second to none, but it wouldn't be possible without a lot of our great sponsors. Sponsors like Miss Sherry Wilkins over at the Cowboy Shop in Rootville, Georgia. Our friends at Alpha Insurance. Guys, if you can dream it, they can insure it. Dixie Horse and Mule Company. If you need a trailer of any kind, just do me a favor and check out Dixie Horse and Mule Company first and give them a chance. We also want to say thank you to them for being a sponsor of the rodeo down there in Ponce de Leon, Florida. The Green Family. Uh, Mr. Don Green and all the Greens over there at Roanoke Stockyards in Roanoke, Alabama. Uh, you're over there. Check them out. They have the sale every Wednesday starting at 11 o'clock. In Alliston and Oxford, Alabama, two great locations for pickets, feed, pet, and boots. Dude, feed, seed, any pet supplies, you want boots, you need anything western, go check them out. Tell them you heard about them on the road with the SPRA. Our good friends over at University, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Amistad, Alabama as well. They give out those good Ram trucks, the official truck of professional rodeo since 1981. Last and certainly not least, we give a tip of the resist all to Miss Angela Hudson and www.magnoliabarrelhorses.com right there at Magnolia Farms. Those are the people that make it happen on the road with the SBRA. Guys, my name is Mike again, and I live in Lexington, Mississippi. I want to thank y'all for having me go with you each week on the road with the SBRA. Y'all come see me.